Oh, this is your LP. Go on your channel. You, right. you get this introduction. Hey, everyone. Um, due to me not being able to get this damn game to work on my computer, Raven's going to be playing this in my stead on my channel because fucking Steam. This is by Cloak and Dagger Games, which many of you may remember, I've played one of their games before on this channel, Mudlarks. This is a terrible old man. I which may, I, I may know that there is a simple way to get it, get it run in, but in this case, I'm not sharing. And Raven's computer keeps staring at me. But yes, the terrible old man, written by H.P. Lovecraft. Probably not one of the better known ones, but it is one of the saucer ones. But all we know, this is going to be recorded in one. Yeah, because we finished Sullivan River. Um, and yes, I know for all you literary nuts out there, oh, H.P. Lovecraft is very problematic. Yes, we're both very freaking aware of that. That doesn't mean he didn't, you know, do some cool stuff that we now use in our common mythos of humanity. Also, he probably created one of the first popular shared universes between other writers because other writers wrote Lovecraftian stories that Lovecraft pretty much went, yeah, this is canon. And later on, they went on to use the mythos for their own purposes, did the thing better, but okay, so we recognize it, and we recognize Lovecraft is a bit of an oddball of a character. To put it mildly. It was a case of, yes, he has troublesome elements, but it's a case of that's more of a topic of discussion of and of review than anything else. Don't hide away the terrible. So why it's terrible and generally why it's this is why we don't do this. Anyway well, Times where I do advocate death of the artist more in the terms of we kinda have to to keep the mythos glued together. So let's get started. So, Angler, when are you going to blow this joint? When are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours' drive to Boston. How long are we staying here for? <laughs> oh, I'd say just tonight. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy there who might be able to get us some action, you know. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Stacy's mom is going to... Incredible. Kanzek, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Right? Yeah, I got a few books left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was old. She couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Man Manuel here spends it on hooch, then let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. That's Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call a group of scumbags and gangsters. I guess this might be the owner of the owner of this ear, ear establishment. He's been giving us a look up ever since we walked in the door. Great beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? Do we, we have the Innsmouth look? <laughs> what? Look like a fish man to you, sir? It's beginning to look like fish men. No, of your goddamn business is give me free some bills. Hey, this is my bar. 
What you matter, stranger? Folk he are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Hey, Bears. Please. That'll be two dollars for my foreign friend. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh it. darn it. No, no, it was you. Yeah, it was me. Gosh darn it, the barrel's dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. I'm sorry. Dickie eating his dinner yet? I swear. He said a whole old chocolate cake. We said a whole chocolate cake in front of his face. I didn't so much as blink. Boy's been affected. You taking him to Doc V's? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since the run-in with the old fellow the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. That happened. You know that very old man? A former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town. Pays for his groceries with golden doubloons. I heard about him, yeah? People and ancient. I hear he talks to his bottles. Bottles he has lined up on the table <sighs> inside his house. He calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah. A most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to tell Dicky. A bit of respect. So what happened was Dicky threw a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about exactly what happened. Adia. He's a stupid boy. Go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must have a quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using old coins for currency. The man must be sitting on the fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east on countable years back, and bought back untold, brought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boys, you're not going to believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps talking about a crazy young man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with golden doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloon? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A bit of seen old fart. <laughs> this sounds like a stench. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on off. Oh boy, this is should be fun. Where's the old man's house, then? I don't know. They didn't say. Find out, Kesnek! Find out and we may get riches tonight. So, what have we got so f Say, fellas, what was that about you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? 
What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. Sounds like quite the character. Indeed he is. Shovels about his... with his cane drop. Oh, wait, that was you. <laughs> Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane dropping cold all over the place. You guys from Kingsport? Oh, I'm bread. Me too. Where are you from? Uh, a suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? A cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. What else do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions there, stranger. Yes, leave us be. So where does this little old man live? His house is along the coast, a crumbling ancient pile, it is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? That's as a hunter, are you? No. Good. Last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why would you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? We're still interviewing for a local paper. Oh, yes. What's the name of the local paper then? The Telegraph. Wrong. <laughs> you, sir, are a pathological liar. Damn! <laughs> I think we have to talk to the girl to uh, get the paper information. Say there, miss, can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, grease ball. Hey, 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 there's no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to converse. Go converse elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ha, <laughs> struck out again, Kaznick. Search yourself. Hmm. Maybe the... They're traveling salesmen. Oh yes? What are you selling? These fine leather jackets. Shoes! Can I have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure, sure. thing. I'm wearing them right here. Oh, that's you. Sure thing. I'm wearing them right now. You're wearing your stock. What well, better way to advertise? I got boxes them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. I think it is the reporter ones, right? I just don't remember how to do it. Why can you tell me about these two guys at the bar? They're right here. <laughs> Mind your own business, stranger. This is a small D and D campaign gone horribly horror. What he said. Why can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look nice. She's out too much. What's her line of work? 
Why don't you ask her yourself? Do you know about a rich old guy that lives in town? Can't say I do. Oh, you must. I don't gossip about local, sir. This is a respectable town. Ha! Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Silva, Ricky, and we're... Cars... Not you again. I'm busy. What you looking at? A path of looking pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Not that you'd know about that. Yeah, what's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Now, get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady. He wishes. I can't mix it before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. Here's the truth. The journalist from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of expo 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 exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. Your man. Your man that's me. That's you. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs into a sh into Ship Street, near the store. Near the shore. Stork. Outside his house is curi are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks. I appreciate it. The house is so damn old it doesn't have a house number. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, Sassy boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on, the, on Ship Street, by the harbour. Hey, you pass that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. All right, we're here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go hit through this here gate. Kazik, you stay on watch. Seeing as you're the driver. Before we do anything, though, look, there's a light up there, Kazik. Can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. I'm not messing with our gaze until we're set to go. in the car. Come on. Yep. Yeah, I think we need the key for the trunk. Oh. 
Goody. Probably have to talk to one of the guys. Do you have the key? Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, oh, bars are dope. Here you go. Thanks. Guess we give the mask to those two guys. Let's we check this out. It is in there. City old floor looks like looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Kaznick. In it is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we're quiet out here, he soon notices. us. He really is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. Got our masks then? Here's the masks. Okay, get the gate open. Ha, we're in. Good work, Kaznick. Okay, Silva, let's go in. Have I got to play it, boss? Old Sea Dog might not be too loquacious considering his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even even. Hidden. If he's seen now as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goats. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silva, you hit the nail on the head. Kaznick, wait here for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Remember, Remember. be gentle. You know, if it wasn't for the fact this was a robbery, so many people would be taking that the wrong way. Grand One hour, hour later. later. What the hell is taking them so long? What happened? They better not have knocked off the old fella. I told them. I told them. I said don't go hard, too hard on your goat. Ah, here they come. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in.
and some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Dum, dum, dum. Thing that I question. What exactly did he do to the boy? And what exactly did he do to those three besides apparently sick ghost pirates on them? Oh, yeah! Uh, I was a patron of them for a while! I forgot about that! was in the credits of the terrible old man, apparently! <laughs> so, uh... Yay? Goddammit, it, Kikyo! <laughs> Just because her husband has been summoned from the depths. And yes, that's in, that was the introduction to this. And we didn't include it because, oh hey, OBS has a delay to when things start appearing, when being recorded. And that was the little boy that they were talking about in the bar that threw the, the obviously threw the stone and is now not even eating. Eh, he got what he deserved. I think it's harsh for, like, a stupid kid thing, though. I mean, at least he didn't get, like, gored by ghost pirates or something, or whatever the hell happened to the three gangsters. This is a, basically a simple, a simple little game. Game, very, not much of a chance, but very much summarizes the whole feel of the, of the old story. Yeah, and you felt how, like, dirty and gross the whole thing felt felt like you knew something wasn't right. Hell, even the owls a bit. Overworldly, even. Yeah. But then I could be down to a stylized choice. Well, to be fair, it's a good style. So what I'm guessing is that those jars can t actually did contain the man's old crew. He somehow learned some weird magic so he could keep his old crew in bottles after they died, or he forced them into the bottle so they'd be his immortal crew or whatever. And we don't know if he's immortal himself or if he's just probably going to cack it at some point anyway. Well, we got nice of the curious case of Charles Dexter Ward and the I think it's the two black bottles, I think it is. That basically deals with resurrecting the dead or keeping the dead around. So, similar situation. Yeah. I'm curious what he did to the boy, because he clearly didn't kill the boy, but did he, like, suck out his soul, or did he just scare the shit out of the kid? Eh, uh, sounds like he gave him a good scare. Hmm. So you're and, going to wrap up. Yeah, and he, obviously he killed the three gangsters who the kid, wanted his treasure. The kid was after mischief. Those three are after malice.
So in the time, everyone, um, hopefully we'll have something a little longer planned for, you know, an actual Let's Play. It's just, we literally needed another video. <laughs> I will find something, and I have a few other Let's Plays that I'm setting up and planning out. And until next time, my friend Raven, thank you again, and, uh, put the sacrificial dagger down. We are not summoning Haster. You mentioned the name of the king in yellow. We are doomed. This is your fault. I have a contract with him which says I can mention his name once a year on my channel. I suggest you look again. No one mentions the King's in Yellow's name. I told you, I have a contract! <laughs> Seriously! Bye! Bye! <laughs>